at my room. It's the most beautiful thing ever. I stayed here a few weeks ago with my sister. The rooms are just beautiful. And this time I've got a balcony. This, oh my God. It's so, how do I get out? I'm stuck. Um, oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's here. Okay, I'm in such a rush and I really need to get ready. This just feels more important right now. My balcony. How gorgeous is that? Put these up to the room, which is so cute. I didn't really get time this morning to say what I'm doing, why I'm here. Up at like 5.30 this morning, it was a really early one. I'm in a massive rush. I've literally just got to the hotel. Like 40 minutes to get fully ready. So I'm going to get ready and then while I do my makeup, we will have a chat and a catch up. So... Hello, right, I just had the quickest shower ever. Now, I need to get ready. So, I'm actually here with Moogla, which is like insane. They're one of my favorite brands in the world. They are just iconic. They invited me to Paris, which is fucking mental. So, here I am. I'm literally here for one night. I don't know what look to do. I hate rushing to get ready. I really wanted to like chill and have a few hours, but I feel like I wanted to do like a slick fringe, maybe with some like little pieces like this. I feel like that could be quite fun. I mean, like that kind of vibe and then the rest slick back. I was looking at a lot of pictures of Zoe Kravitz. There's a lot of great hair looks like that. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're just going to the Moogla party tonight. My beautiful friend Ava is here. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in God knows when. Yeah, I just need to try and get ready as quick as possible. I actually have no idea what sort of makeup look I want to do. The whole way here, I was like looking at makeup on Pinterest and stuff and I just still don't know. I've got a few options. So hopefully... Something will come to me, but very hot and stressed. I'm shooting with Moise again, who I shot with in New York. He is incredible, literally the nicest guy ever. So he's coming to the hotel soon to shoot with us. Um, hence the rush, because the party doesn't even start until 10. But obviously we have to do all the shooting. Um, we're going for dinner beforehand. So that's why it's the crazy rush right now. Okay, I've just done my hair really quick because it was stressing me out. I've just done like a little spiky bun. Um... And then wet fringe, but I'm gonna have to finish the fringe like once my makeup's done because it's gonna move anyway while I do that. So okay, I'm with makeup now. I have no idea what I want to do. I'm thinking maybe like a black red lip. Uh, it's like very vampy. Yeah, I left my house at 5:30 this morning. I'm actually here for even less time now than I was supposed to be. Originally, my train was at about 4 p.m. tomorrow, so I actually had all the morning. But there's all train strikes. I had to just book whatever train we could back but now i'm actually leaving at 9 a.m tomorrow morning so we're here at like one and yeah leaving at nine tomorrow morning so less than 24 hours crazy whirlwind i feel like whenever i'm in paris it's really never for long i love paris so much um but i just never get to see any of it oh i've already got makeup on the dressing gown oh shit really unsure what to do with my eyes i might just do like a really skinny like tight wing and then maybe even like a glossy red lip but that's just not that sustainable like a black red glossy lip looks amazing is it just gonna look shit throughout the night more than likely my eyes i've got this brand new palette from vive look how beautiful that is my dream palette so i'm gonna start with this white and i'm gonna use that as a base been so torn between doing like a white kind of grey eye with a really tight liner and then a nude lip. I'm just gonna do a black liner, just falls into place, you know. Keep it quite like skinny and tight in my lash line. And then I'll take my trusty favourite little brush. This is the Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes 20. Um, this is the best thing ever for just getting like really tiny little skinny wings. I'm gonna tight line. Top and bottom. I'm literally so excited to see like what everyone's wearing. I feel like everyone's just gonna look insane. So fun to go to something like this where you know that you're not even gonna be anywhere close to the craziest dress. And like honestly, I was just having a little moment earlier on the train. I was just thinking like, what the hell is my life? I don't know, a couple of years ago, I was like very unhappy. Didn't really know what I was doing. I was creating stuff, but nothing that I really loved. And I always dreamt of kind of ending up here, but I just honestly never ever thought that it was like feasible. I didn't think I was the right kind of person for it. Um, and then, you know, all of a sudden you're in Paris Fashion Week with Moogla. So things turn around. There we go, I feel like I'm liking that. I feel like that's a good place to start. The problem is I absolutely adore Moe's and the pictures always look amazing. Sometimes they're a little bit too clear, you know? A little bit too loud. Sometimes I don't need to see my face in 4K flash. So I'm going to load my lashes up with the YSL mascara. And typical me fashion, I actually haven't tried my outfit on yet. I feel like surely it's going to be fine. I can't go 
too wrong, I hope. Now, do I do my bottom lashes? Do I risk it all at this point? Hmm. Highlight my skin a little bit. Nice and dewy. I also feel like everyone and their nan is in Paris at the moment, so I feel like I'm going to see quite a lot of people tonight that I know, which is always nice. It's always nice when you like unexpectedly see your friends in Paris. So I'm thinking I'm just going to do the black red lip in Paris and with Moogla. When else, you know? I'm going to start with this really deep red Patrick Ta liner. Um, I like to kind of gradually build up the black. Kind of just fill in the edges. Now I take the black and start building this up. I don't know why it just feels less scary when you have the red underneath. And taking this really deep Dior gloss, this is beautiful. Hit that all over, and then I kind of smudge the two together. And when you get them all on together, you get this like beautiful, really gothic lip. And I just kind of use the gloss to like blend the two together. It doesn't matter if it's a bit messy because I just go kind of back and forth. Blending the two. Building that black up a little bit more and then, you know, it's a bit of back and forth. There we go. That's strong, isn't it? That is a strong look for sure. Okay, I feel like that's gothy into it. Hair is actually sitting well. Things are coming together. Okay, I feel like if I get dressed, everything's just gonna come together. Everything's gonna start looking good, um, hopefully. And then I've got loads of silver earrings. I want it to be very silver and black and vampy. So we'll just lay stress here. Try not get done for nudity, so yeah, cool. Just cash, it's very chill, you know. Okay, I feel like I need to like bronze up my chest and once I've got jewellery on, it will be cute. Look at the shoes. They're the biggest boys in the whole world. I'm so excited to wear these, I'm gonna be so tall. Actually like insanely comfortable. I mean, I say this now, I've had them on for like two minutes. But they like lace all the way up here. I'm not gonna lace them too high. Whoa, I'm tall. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my God. Now outfits on. We're almost there. Well done, everyone. We've done very, very well. I swear I can hear Ava. I keep hearing a little Scottish voice. Not very many Scottish people in Paris. So I'm going to... I'm going to bronze up my chest. Once again, unprepared. Probably should have tanned. Imagine being prepared. You know some people are actually prepared for things. Like, what? Not I. Leave skin dew on for good measure. This obviously looks great in pictures as well, so. See, it all comes together. You wouldn't even know the chaos, would you? The main jewellery piece that I wanted to wear was this cross necklace that I have. Isn't that just the most perfect thing for this look? Ooh, yeah. I think the vision is coming together now, you know. And I have these big bangles I think I'm going to wear. And I got these, like, silver ear stacker packs. These are really good because they're all different sizes. With the biggest ones. And I think I'm actually going to build them up my ears a bit. Just so they're like more of a statement. I might put one in here, just like a little one. Could be cute. I feel like it's just overkill, but why not? Watch my ears literally be green tomorrow morning. And then maybe a small one there. Where is it gone? Yeah, I feel like that's cool. Okay. Let's see my teeth already look gonna be a long night of that I think oh yeah did I just like slay god I'm dripping out did I drip too hard maybe okay I feel like that looks pretty cool I feel like I need to stand up and look at everything together though <laughs> god yes okay oh there's some shoes Oh, I feel very naked. I look like a Victorian widow. That was kind of the vibe I was going for, so. Right, I'm gonna go find Moise now. He's somewhere, I think he's with Ava, so I need to find her. I'm gonna lipstick.
I will see you all in a little bit. Thank you for coming on this chaotic journey with me. I'm sweating. I just got back from shooting with Murray's sweetest person in the whole world. Um, so yeah, we've got some amazing pictures. We're really excited to see those. We've done a couple of videos. We've done some bits. And now I've got like an hour until we go for dinner, which is nice. Yeah, it's been a pretty fun long day, but it's fun. That's what we like. Yeah, I'm obsessed with this hotel. I think it's the nicest place. I just realised it's probably really echoey in here. Sorry, that's horribly annoying. And I was just looking, actually. Oh, let me out. One thing I just can't do is a hotel door. Look how cute this little apartment here is. How French and cute is that? I want to be friends with whoever lives here. I honestly feel like I could live in Paris. Like, 100% if I spoke French, I would live here. Because it's literally two hours from London. It's so easy. I actually love the people here. I know people always have shit to say about French people, but I think they're great. I just love it. I love the vibes. always have the best time when I'm here, so yeah. I'm gonna go for dinner soon. We're actually eating at the hotel. I ate here last time I was staying here. The food is amazing. I keep getting really out of breath and that is always what I get when I'm anxious. I feel like maybe I'm anxious. I don't feel anxious. I feel excited. But I think that's the same thing. My body's all like adrenaline and it's making me out of breath. I'm gonna have a calm little moment. I'm just editing some videos and then yeah, we're gonna go for dinner. So my boyfriend said I look like I've got an emo caftan on. If that's not the look that we were going for, I don't know. <laughs> oh. To be fair, I always feel weird about touching these things. Yeah, I do you know what you mean. Because it's never been washed. <laughs> How many people's feet have been on that? <laughs> <laughs> is like long gone so originally i was leaving at about half three tomorrow which meant obviously i would have had the whole morning here would have been able to go and have breakfast and sleep in but now there's train strikes so we thought it was best to just get out as soon as possible um, i think there's quite a lot of marches about the train strikes as well so god my makeup looks awful yeah less than 24 hours in paris it's been crazy it is about half one now so I'm going to have to be getting up at about 6 o'clock, so realistically it's going to be about 5 hours sleep if I'm lucky. I don't feel tired at all. So I'm probably going to shower and just chill for a bit, maybe like edit some pictures and stuff. Um, I've literally just got to get up and get dressed in the morning and roll myself to the train station and then I can sleep on the train anyway. So very, very grateful. Me and Ava were having a little heart to heart earlier about the first time we met. We knew each other online already and then the first time we met was actually in Paris. This must have been like a year and a half ago I want to say, something like that, um, which was at Couture Fashion Week. One of the girls earlier was like, I thought you two had known each other like your whole lives. And when your energy just like really clicks with someone, that is me and Ava. So we first met in Paris, that was like both of our first trips, that was the first brand trip I'd ever done, it was the first time I'd worked with a higher end brand, same for her, she was relatively new to it and yeah, like seeing how far we've both come in a year, how much happier we both are, um, yeah. I just feel really grateful and I feel really grateful to get to do it with really great people as well so having someone like that by your side is invaluable to me um Tiger was there DJing very random but actually really good um and yeah it was just like a big cool kind of like warehouse sort of party but I mean everyone looked insane like the vibes were immaculate everything you would imagine for a Moogla party you feel very naked until you get to a Moogla party and then I was probably one of the most covered in there so Beautiful night, beautiful people, beautiful vibes. I'm gonna have a shower. I desperately need to take these, these shoes off because my ankles are about to break. These beds are the comfiest thing in the world and I'm really sad I'm only gonna be in it for like five hours.
But yeah, I feel like that's it from me. This was a very quick vlog. I thought I was going to have more, but speedy, speedy little Paris trip. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for being here. I wouldn't be able to do these things without you. Good night. Have a beautiful day. I love you. I will see you very soon. You don't want to kiss for my crusty lips. You're getting one anyway.